Hey guys, my name's Madeline. And mine's Miranda O'Hare. And you are... No, it's not you're, you're not listening. listening. You're not listening they're to... They're not currently You know doing what? It. See, the problem with their life is that they're not listening to Vodcast Soda. And, and you need to be. <gasps> oh my God, that's going to make their life so much better. VodcastSoda.com. Check us out. We talk dating, not dating, eating. Not, LA. No, we don't talk about not eating because we're just always eating. But Lots we talk about a lot of really fun shit. So, so get check on us board. out. And follow us on Instagram because we need the validation. <laughs> Thanks. Every so often, the sports hangover touches on mature topics. Discretion is advised. <laughs> Gossip, BS, lies, and rumors. This is the sports hangover. You know what that means? No one knows what it means, but it's provocative. It's not as good as people go. Welcome to the Sports Hangover. It is Super Bowl week, and it is Mike's birthday week, too. Ooh, my birthday week. I'm really old. Happy 39th, Mike. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's uh, it's a tough age. So I'm turning 32. It's a really uh, awkward age because after you turn 30, literally no one cares about your birthday. So there's no like... It's actually a negative. Like People start to feel bad for you when you have a birthday. Yeah, it's like, oh, are you going to pretend you're 21 again this week? You know, stuff like that. So it's it's kind of like it's a birthday, just like, oh, I'm I'm getting older, the hair's receding, you know, grays are coming in, stuff like that. That that's all it's reminding me of. It's more of like a spa day with your girlfriend instead of a big to do, right? Yeah, well, I'm I'm actually doing a isolation float tank tomorrow for two hours, yeah, that, and that sounds about right. Microdosing some mushrooms. Some shrooms. You are going to Microdose. trip on your birthday. Microdose. Congratulations. Microdose. You are tripping. He, he just announced to the world he is tripping. I am very excited to say. Yes. I'm excited for the Super Bowl. It and is. I got my TSH what? swag. What? Look at this. And I am holding up a royal blue uh-huh. with yellow font. Los Looks Angeles great. sports hangover sweater. It came in over the weekend. I'm so fired up. You can buy yours on Amazon as well. Just search the sports hangover. Tons of Los Angeles options. Tons. We might have Boston options. We might not. But we're clearly an L.A.-based show, and we're fired up for the Rams in the Jeremy, Super Bowl. because you bought that, I also bought the exact <laughs> same one. So we will be matching that day, yes. walking around. Yes. I, I even have a Rams jersey. I'm not even going to wear it because I'm going to wear that sweater. People will take pictures with us. Oh, they, yeah. they will. They, it's going to be a great day. All right. So we're going to hit some uh, headlines, a little Scandal City, and then we're going to go in to the greatest gambling weekend ever. I'm going to go over some of my my favorite props. I have so so many. All I need to do is hit one to make some money. I'm excited and we're going to like bet during the game cuz we'll be together in LA. It's going to be it's going to be so great. And, so anyone can join us. Yes. Give out your address in case anyone wants sure, to Sure, yeah, just follow us over here. No, actually <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to I printed out also, I don't know if you watch Game of Thrones, but we're going to gamble on Game of Thrones as well, like who dies, who becomes a white walker, stuff like that. On Super Bowl but Game Day. of Thrones does not does not happen no. But on usually, Super Bowl I don't Sunday. have that many people all in one group where I can collect money from them. And if they watch Game of Thrones, I'm going to collect money, and then at the end, whoever oh. wins gets all the money. So it's almost like a delayed satisfaction. So Game of Thrones is in April, so you'll pay out this summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's way, way down there. It's wow. going to be it's going to be interesting. Great. It's going to be great. You make interest. In all right, so <laughs> all right, so Super Bowl's coming up. To th- a lot of stuff about it. Super Bowl ticket prices falling, cheapest ever. Ad prices plateaued since 2010. Yeah. No right. <laughs> so it's either the Patriots' fault or no one likes the Rams. Well, Chiefs, Saints, everyone talked about it would have been record Super record. Bowl prices, record buzz because it's two franchises that rarely t- and to never go. The Chiefs mm-hmm. were there in 1970 was the last one. The Saints were there in the Drew Brees era. They captured one. But they have a lot of diehards, and it's very easy to get from New Orleans to Atlanta. Also, all very the fans easy. in Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, they can all get to Atlanta easily. Plus, Mahomes and Breeze would have been like a passing of the torch. We have Brady, but everyone hates Brady outside I, of Boston. I mean, I do, I do like him. I, I, kind of, I respect him. I don't like him. I respect what he's I doing. Think but you, I've come around. I've come around okay. on this. So I mean, you are a Rams I was fan reading, now. So you've officially um, dropped the Dol- – Bur- we're burning Dolphins gear. We're burning all my Miami wow. sports hangover gear. So we do have multiple cities. Just want to shout out. <laughs> we have Miami, L.A. We got it all We over. got some good ones. Pittsburgh. Uh, so I was reading so hard against Brady, yeah. right? For, for Mahomes and the Chiefs to win. And I decided in the last week or so since we recorded, I'm okay that Brady won. We get to see okay. greatness again. Mahomes will be there. Brady, this is this is greatness on display. We should all sit back and enjoy it because he's probably going to win the Super Bowl, right? Most likely. I mean, that's what all my props are leaning towards is a Patriots Super Bowl win. 
way to put all your eggs in that basket. I just I, I don't I, I don't see the Rams pulling it off, especially with Jared Goff. Like he's still young, the, the team's still going. I don't know what's wrong with Gurley. He says he's not hurt, but something's up. So there's a lot of you. Mis- you would never purposefully give that many carries to fat cj anderson uh, why not though i mean he was looking pretty good for how fat literally it looks like he was getting fatter and fatter throughout the game he just didn't fit in his goddamn jersey anymore it's it's incredible i told you that the story on him where he thought he was out of out of the league in november because no one else wanted him he got cut three times he was just gonna work out for free agency in march and all of a sudden the rams called and he was eating burgers every day well you gotta bulk up i mean now he's just like a bowling ball so he just kind of rolls through the key player to watch for here tell me on the Rams' defense yeah. is Aaron Darnold. Aaron, Aaron Donald. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron Donald. Donald. Sorry. But Aaron high, Donald. Well, isn't he the one of the highest-paid defensive players in the league? He is. He just got paid. But but the, there's a key stat on Tom Brady. This is next level and could influence some Whoa, of your props. So okay. I hope you didn't submit him yet. Oh, shit. Tom Brady, when he gets pressure from the outside of the pocket, mm-hmm. pressure from the outside, outside yeah. his passer rating is 116. That's coming from DNs. That's coming from outside blitzers. Okay. When he gets pressure inside the pocket, up the middle, from the D tackles, his quarterback rating is 60. That's, not that's good. awful. But, and, and he can't complete those, those passes over the middle. That's where he makes all of his money to Edelman right over the middle on those crosses. He can't get that done if he's getting interior pressure. And he true. also can't scramble. He can't I escape. wonder. I know you can't look this up, but I wonder what Jared Goff's passer rating is during the last Saints game because I don't think it was very good the way he was playing. It didn't look that great. A lot of handoffs, not too many throws, a lot of like short little lobs to, to He made a few big throws late yeah. that propelled them to victory. That kind of surprised me. And, and honestly, he made some big throws <clears throat> in that Chiefs game that you were at. You saw some big throws yeah, with Goff. Again, I don't, um, I don't suggest going to football games anymore because I was so clueless watching that game. I had no idea it was the best game ever. So watch at home. It's much better. <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Goff also played a huge game. You might remember this. I think it was a Thursday night against the Vikings early in the year. Do you remember the Rams hosted that game? It was a huge game, huge. and Goff lit up the scoreboard and beat beat the Vikings. So he has it in him. I just, in this, in this stage, with the pressure, I think Brady terrorizes him. All right, let's do some scandal. Time to dig up the dirtiest stories around the sport world in this week's Scandal City. We haven't had that drop in a while. It's nice. Did you hear that? It was too loud for it's you. Nice. Do we have any scandals? Any arrests in Atlanta yet? Any uh, uh, cornerbacks no, out on the town? No at the strip arrest. Club? No arrest. I. Okay. Uh, most of the scandal is about the Saints. People are filing lawsuits. I don't know oh, if you yeah. heard about Cousin Sal losing uh, over sixty thousand dollars on a bet. <laughs> Did he just bet sixty thousand on the Saints? So there's this website where you can buy official prop like not props but somebody goes to a casino buys a slip and you know how you have that slip and it's like an official like the odds come up that's what he bought he bought a bit i think it was like a two to one odd for them to win the super bowl or something like something better than what he was getting Mm. and he bought it at sixty thousand dollars split it with somebody spent thirty thousand dollars on it and he lost before the game right yeah before the game he was he bought it off this website called i think like prop exchange or something like that i checked it out it, we could go on and buy some props if you want. Like, oh, I, I'd rather sell my props than buy. You, you could have sold your Houston uh, Texans winning the Super Bowl when they were running hot going into the playoffs. Wow. Somebody would have, somebody would have scooped that shit up. I didn't know that was an option because I never believed in. That. I know. So next year when we go to Vegas before the uh, it starts, we'll buy a bunch of tickets we'll and then bunch. we sell them. Yeah, you're genius, genius. Um, but now everybody's doing it lawsuits and everything like so that. Is cousin Sal filing a lawsuit? Is he suing? And who is he suing? Who are folks suing? I, the I think folks? they're suing the NFL, but it's also who do you, do you sue? The referees? Do you sue the the? I, it's hard to see what happens here because the league should have done something. I don't think they would have replayed a game. So what do they do? I mean, like we talked about, Goodell could have brought it back to that moment and replayed it, but that's obviously logistically close to impossible. Yeah. I know another uh, potential scandal is those four refs that had ties to Southern California, oh, right? Did you hear about no. that? Oh, my. Four is- of the refs on the team, uh, on that referee team, live in L.A., and they were afraid to stand in line at Starbucks and be heckled by the guy who, who is a Rams oh. fan. And there's one. There's one Rams fan in L.A., right? Yeah. I, honestly, I've been out and about in town. I have not. I even wore our sports hangover Los Angeles Rams official Super Bowl gear out about yours on Amazon today. Yeah, Buy it on Amazon. Literally no one commented. Didn't see one Rams fan. 
No yeah. one cares about anything out no here. It's really sad. You're going to come out here. Don't care gonna... Sunday. We, we are going to burn vehicles on Sunday. Not yours, not, not mine, mine, but others. Yes, you're you're going to riot. I'm just going to I'm going to watch. You're drop me. I'm going to drop yeah. you off in Hollywood. Um, you can riot all you want. You know who? You know who? We have to attack here who? is Roger Goodell because that coward of a man has Ooh. not said a one word oh. publicly about this disaster. He called Drew Brees mm-hmm. and Sean Payton and the Saints owner. Where are you to publicly face this? He's waiting for it to go away. He says, oh, the Super Bowl's in two weeks. No one will talk about it then. We're talking about it all this week. We, we just had a week go by where there's no sports. We talked about it, yeah. and now there's more sports, but we're still talking about it. And obviously, TSH is the pulse of the sports nation, so that means it everyone is. is going to be talking about it this week. Goodell, you can't hide. He does The only interview he does all season long is on Wingo and Golick. He gets the softball questions. He never has a real interview to answer real questions, and here he what? is to put out a fire, to put out a controversy, mm-hmm. and he's nowhere to be found, which leads me what? to my prediction, okay. my Nostradamus prediction. Sports Stradamus. Sports Stradamus. Sports Stradamus, January 1st show. When I said Goodell would retire on top because he doesn't want to deal with this shit anymore. He's sick of all the scandals. I, we, honestly, coming at it, like from, it, it almost doesn't seem like he cares one bit. So he's going to be sitting back like, you know what? This will go away. There'll be a whole bunch of hoopla and people are suing him, whatever. But guess what? Super Bowl happens this coming Sunday. Guess what everybody's going to forget about? What happened? Maybe the Saints fans will Well, won't. that's his plan, right? That that's is, that, plan. I'm sure that's his plan. So I think it's tough because... What would you have done if you were in that situation? Like, if you recalled it, then will all the L.A. fans, even though there's not a lot of them. I wouldn't recall it. I would say we messed up, but the call stands. We're not going to redo it, and all your stupid lawsuits are thrown out. Like, these people are are just looking for attention that are suing. Like, what do you – you think you're going to get damages? You think you're going to half your money back? Like, what are you looking for? The Rams won the game. I know. It's it's not good. It's – I don't don't, don't know what to do. They've got to do something – where, well, Goodell could be a man and be a leader and say, we messed up. My refs messed up. We made the wrong call. But, hey, we're not going back to the Superdome to bring these offensive linemen from the Saints off the beach yeah, from Cabo then, and go play the rest of the game. That's not going to happen, Do you folks. think there'd be legal action? You're able to take it then because he, he claims that they did mess up and there clearly was a call because I almost, say, I almost think saying nothing speaks much louder because then no one can do anything. And they'll just kind of like, whatever, they'll sit on it for a little. Maybe they'll make some rule changes. Maybe give some coaches some options later on in the new season. To maybe, hey, that was, that was a penalty, and I would like you to review that and make sure that was called correctly because I, I don't that, – that changed the whole game. The Saints, I would put it – what would you put the odds? Saints, Patriots, Super Bowl in Atlanta. Would you? Because right now I think – The Saints would have a huge home field. You think they'd have – so you think it would almost be, be like, like – 70-30. Yeah, it'd be huge. No, but do you think the so right now the spread I think is like minus two and a half for the Patriots, maybe three. Yeah, it, it yeah. moved a lot. It opened at even with the Rams, yeah. but now if it was the Saints, would it open up the Saints as? Favorite? I think the Saints would be a slight favorite. I really do they, because the Patriots weren't very good this no. year, and honestly, they barely beat the Chiefs. So, so you look at their track record; they blew out the Chargers. That's the most impressive game from them. They, if they lose the coin toss against the Chiefs, they lose yeah, that game and the Chiefs game. are here. So, so both games are toss-ups. We could just as easily be looking at a Chiefs saying Super Bowl. Why aren't Chiefs fans suing the NFL over terrible overtime rules the, that the rules, don't let Mahomes touch the ball? The rules are ridiculous. They need to change them. Yeah, they, I, would, I would sue if I'm a Chiefs fan. All right, real quick, we're, we're going to hit basketball. Anthony Davis, I put a lot of money on the Lakers. NBA News. Yeah. NBA News. I put a lot of money on the Lakers to win over 50 games, and this affects my 50-game wins right here, okay? Anthony it's Davis. Not good. LeBron has not been playing. We haven't, we haven't talked about it on the show, no. but he has not been playing. He's not, he's not been playing. Uh, <laughs> FYI, you guys, not been playing. We only bit. talk about him when he does play. <laughs> Heads up, he's been out a few months. He's been out. He's been out a month. Anthony Davis just went to his agent today and said, write up a report. I'm out. And I want in to another team. So he's going to be a free agent. So now is the time a team needs to trade him. Now, this implements, obviously, the Lakers because the Lakers want him. So I'm hoping yeah. that the Lakers get him. But I have no – it's just – the NBA doesn't make sense to me because I don't think players should be able to do this. I think you should be fined coming out saying you are requesting a trade. You want out of here. You should be loyal to your fan base. And I get it, like – at the end of the season, if you want out, that's fine. But mid-season, I think it hurts 
the team. I, I don't know if it hurts the well, NBA. Hang on, Mike. You're contradicting yourself because in every situation in the NFL, you take the player's side. I do. You say support the player no matter what. I do. Now in the NBA, Anthony Davis is looking for a little no, support, and you're not supporting him. I yet. do support Anthony Davis and what he wants to do, but I think it hurts his his options going forward because then if you if you're another team, look at what happened with Kawhi. Did you really want to take Kawhi on your team because he complained and he didn't want to play at all? And mm-hmm. I mean the same thing. You lost value. Yeah, you lost a little value. So I almost think saying nothing and just maybe, hey, talk to the team privately, keep this in close quarters. And if you want out, that's fine, but don't publicly do it all over. Look at Antonio Brown and whatever or or uh Le'Veon Bell. Like it definitely yeah, hurt his value. Good. Value. And now he's I mean, he's totally out, but he's a free agent. At this point. So I thought Anthony Davis was under contract for another year, and he is. So he's under okay. contract through the 1920 season. So uh, it's at, through next season. So he's not a free agent after the season, which to me is a big deal because I feel like teams never get full value during the season that they would in the off season. When you have time to fully work out a trade, yeah. all players are healthy, and you tend to get more equal or fair value if you're the team trading your superstar, where I don't think the Lakers have the assets like, I don't know who they trade. Like, they have some young players, but are you going to give them all up, every single one of them? And then it's LeBron and Davis, and then you have no third or fourth but if you, option. if you give them away for, like, two guys and some picks, you have— But do the Hornet or the, Pel- Hornets, the Pelicans, <laughs> do, do they, uh, they want to do that? I, I don't, I don't think know. so. So I'm saying—I'll say he doesn't get traded now. I'm sorry about your bet, okay. but I'm saying he doesn't Damn get it. traded now, and he gets traded in the offseason. The Lakers are in trouble. We could we could peep the standings if you want. All right, give me the standings. It's gonna be depressing. I try watching occasional like quarters here and there. Watch it, but Mike, this was supposed to be our year for the NBA. I know. I, I really, really I really try out. getting into it. It's just it's tough. LeBron's been out. I want to go to the games. Guess how much games are? Way too much for me to go, and LeBron's Way not even much. playing. <laughs> Way too much. Way you can always go to Clippers games, right? You can always go to Clippers games. <laughs> I mean, three dollars right, the free. Lakers. They'll let you in. The Lakers are 26 and 24. They are two games out of the playoffs right now behind the Clippers, actually. All right, no worries. So, so, so the Pelicans are 22 and 28. They're way out of it. They're not going to make the playoffs. So the Pelicans should make a trade, but they probably won't. I will mention yes. a friend of the show. Mm. Oh. Um, he has a dog who breathes very loudly in the phone uh, when he joins our show. It's, it's He's a big... High and drunk what? Blake. Or what, what would we... <laughs> high and drunk Blake. Yeah. He's always messed up when he calls in. He's a Suns fan, and the Suns have 11 wins this year, and that's really bad. Listen, you got you to gotta take a win when you can get it in. Did he see... He saw the Nuggets-Suns game? Is that what he said? Uh, yeah. It must have been a really, see the Suns. really thrilling cheap, game there. Cheap ticket. By the way, the Cavs have 10 wins this year. This is the first time I've looked at the NBA standings <laughs> all season. And the Cavs have 10 wins, the worst record in basketball. This is not a surprise. Can I bro. tell you, I always wish ahead of the like ahead of the season that I would gamble on these teams that we know that are going to be terrible and just bet against them every week and make money. Because yeah. if you were just taking any team, like, you would have lost 10 times, but those other 30 times – you would have won money. I. It's we got to do. It's this not too late. They probably quit and they're tanking by now, so you can jump right, on it. I'm going to jump on it. All right, let's go to. By the, the way, this is this is what like you you folks already downloaded the show. We're not looking for you to stick around at this point. Yeah, I peace. mean, we're looking at NBA standings. <laughs> and, I mean, this is what's happening right now. We are googling standings. Like this is what happens without football. We got. <laughs> I, that was I had no clue they've only won ten games to the Cavs. I know it's crazy. All right, wow, I'm doing and uh, Super Bowl props. These are the few that I really like that I potentially will be betting. There's a few other ones that I usually always bet, like the coin flip and stuff like that. But I really like these. I'm going to go through game props, fun props, and broadcast props. Okay. I like it. Should I, should I give my vote now or should I save it for the in-person Super Bowl? No, no, no. Now because I have to bet it before the odds move because, you oh. know, we move lines on this show because we are very, very popular in the gambling community. All right. So will either team score within the first five and a half minutes? So take me back to the <laughs> NFC Championship game when you yes. made a bet for the first five minutes. Yes. You said no score. No score. And, and you were right. Teams were a little tight. Yeah. And then, of course, the Saints bomb a field goal. 4.57 into the quarter. Three seconds. I was close. So now I, I'm, I leaned no, but it, it both – so yes is minus 105 and no is minus 125. I'm going yes here because we now have nothing else to lose. As a team, as a Rams team, as a Patriots, you have nothing to lose. 
You're going to come out slinging everything you got, everything that you trained for. It's all coming out. And it's any kind of score. It's a field goal and anything. And I'm going, yes, minus 105. I will definitely be putting money on that. I'm going with no. I'm going okay. with no scores. I think the Rams defense is very strong. Okay. Brady's going to be a little slow. Okay. And I think the Jared Goff, I don't really trust him to score either. So I'm going to say no. Um, will there be a two-point conversion attempt? Now, oh, hell yeah. Now let me give you these odds. before NFL teams are converting at a 60% rate in 2018. So very, very high. It's better than yeah. a coin flip. So if you do yes, it's even money. No is minus 130. I'm also going yes here because, come on, two-point conversion. That's automatic. I mean, And Rams? Rams go for two points. The Ra- McVay is so aggressive. Yes. Plus, you're saying 60%. Why don't more teams do this? Why don't the Patriots just work on – like they have both offenses, you could say, have amazing offensive coordinators spend these two weeks with the bye week drawing up like five amazing two-point plays know. and just run them through. That's an extra point every time you score. That could be five points if you have five You don't have steps. to tell me, Jeremy. I know. That's why I'm, I'm betting on this. Got to do this it. This is – if anything, free money. They would definitely do a two-point conversion. Yes. Even money. So you put 100, you get it, you win 100. Next, will there be an extra point kick in the game? Yes, plus 250. No, minus 330. Will there be a missed, sorry, a missed, oh, extra, missed. Sorry, extra, a missed point. extra point? Well, Steven Goskowski, Patriots kicker, yes. been there a long time. I don't think he's missing. Okay. The Rams uh, kicker. Not that great. Who is it? It's Zerline. <laughs> is it Zerline or is he gone? No, it is. It is. Greg the leg. So he's really good, too. Plus, you're playing in a dome. Oh, yeah, I, I in put a lot of money on no. So I put money on no. I, I already bet this. I put money on yes. And here's my reasoning. You're nervous. It's a Super Bowl. You score mm-hmm. your first touchdown. You line up. You got the nerves inside of you. There might be a little, like, uh, slip here. It could happen. And we've already seen a lot of funky things happen in the last – just a few weeks of the playoffs. Mike, Patriots don't get nervous. A, B, Greg the Leg nailed that kick in, cl- in he's very good. crunch time against the Saints. It was like 50-some yards, and it was good from 70. He's, he's really good. All right. Uh, will both he teams make a 33-yard uh, field goal or longer? Yes, minus 150, or no, both minus... teams. Yes. What are the odds again? Uh, yes, minus 150. No, my, uh, plus 120. I like Greg DeLay to do it. What if I said that Tom Brady's really good on third down, like we saw yeah. on the end of the Chiefs game, and he converts enough to bring them inside that field goal range most of the time? That's what I thought. I, I, I leaned no. I didn't bet this one. But both teams have to make it. So you're saying everybody's going to be past that line. I, I, just, I feel like the no is the play they go because you, you almost yeah. want to score the touchdowns in this scenario. Or if you do get close enough, it's, it's a weird spot. Like, will you fake it? Like, there's going to be a lot of trickery this game. I think on any fourth and, and a couple yards, they'll go for it because it's a Super Bowl. And, and you've got to trust your, your offense, and both teams do trust their offenses. All right. Uh, Brady, uh, touchdown passes. Now, I've bet this multiple times the last few weeks. I've been wrong every single time. Oh, boy. Brady has thrown basically in the last month only one touchdown a game. And this is the mostly for the whole season. He was like a bad fantasy quarterback yeah, all year. Very bad. I had him as fantasy. Didn't check my fantasy, but I know he doesn't score a lot of touchdowns. <laughs> you didn't check because you were done in week eight. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was done in week two. Um, so there's a lot. It's like two touchdowns, one, three, zero. I'm going for like the two range, which is only plus two hundred. But if you really think he's like lighting it up, you could get at plus five touchdowns here. You could get plus fifteen hundred. I, I don't see five, no, right? Because no. they love to run the ball in the red zone. They really do. Sony Michelle, James White draws. They they do love to run the ball. Oh, yeah. So I'd say I think two to three because because okay. they are going to light it up. Like he's he didn't come to the Super Bowl to hand off thirty times. Yeah, but it, it's that. safe. It runs the clock down. Like I could see that one at plus three hundred, one touchdown. That's a it's a solid bet. I really I really like it, dude. You got to bet on Brady to do well in this game. I just have. To. I am. I'm betting. I'm. I am. I'm betting him yeah. to hand off that ball really, two. really well. Yeah. Okay. Um, you could do that. So this is where I'm going to be making my money. This game. I am going to. This is my last game prop. The margin of victory. I really want to put some big money on the margin of victory. I'm rooting for the Patriots. We can talk about the Rams odds if you want. But I'm going for the Patriots' margin of victory. 
by seven or ten points. I'm getting seven to one odds. Wow, it's that's that's tough to pick a bracket like. But that. But you could do eleven to thirteen for fifteen to one. So you Oof. almost could like play around with it a little bit. Throw twenty here, throw twenty here, and if you get that range, if you go from like four to eleven, nine to one, seven to one, so kind of throw it out there. What do you think? When can, can you do like over ten for the win? No, under ten? A, There's none of that. It's in a zone. Like one to three points, four to six, seven Those to ten. Those zones sketch me out. I, I don't think seven to ten's a bad one. Like I would chances are it'd be a close game. Like close is game. there a one to seven or a four There's to a seven? There's a one to three or four to six. Oh, these are tight windows. They're real I, tight. Maybe you hit the one to three in case it's a field goal mm-hmm. game. And then you could also – I like the 7 to 10 on the Patriots side. I, I do think the Patriots win, so I don't really need to d- discuss okay. the Rams. And it, uh, no. you, okay, good. We'll, we'll move on. We're both right. being Rams sweaters, and we both think the Patriots will win. Broadca- we, we love the Rams. Broadcast props. So there's a there's a. Ton. This is my wheelhouse. There, yeah. There's a This is Nance here. Romo, Romo's mm-hmm. first Super Bowl. Okay, so let's start pregame here because they have a whole bunch of pregame props. Who will Bill Coward pick? Who will Nate Burleson pick? Who will Boomer uh, Isaacson pick? We can't. Oh, come if on. If you want to bet these, you're getting pretty good odds to like take the Rams at play. Can I just call my PA call friend you? at CBS yes, and get the picks from I, graphics ahead of time? Please call him. We can make so <laughs> we're getting plus one twenty on them on <laughs> Nate Burleson picking the Rams. Just, just slide into Burleson's DMs and say, "Yo, I'll split twenty thousand. Who you taking?" <laughs> I would have to go to Vegas to get this. You <laughs> oh get the better God. odds. All right, so we'll skip that. How about this? Total <laughs> times Roger Goodell will be shown over under Ooh. one and a half times. Over. It's a controversial week, right? Yeah. We're coming off controversy. You got to do it so, once for the Rams Saints story, I know, and then I know, but just one more. So time. here's yeah, here's my it. issue. Will they show a lot of pregame, a little pregame prep, and not show it during the actual broadcast of the it's Super Bowl? It's part of the story. The Saints okay. aren't here. Why? Let's look at Goodell as I tell you the story. Um, will Jim Nance or Tony Romo say goat? <laughs> Can you? Oh, by the way, can you call your boy Jim Nance? I saw yeah. that he released uh, a clothing line this week. A new golf clothing yeah. line. It's a Jim Nance line. You know, I was talking to Jim last week. Yeah. I ran into him here in Orlando. Yeah, He's I mean, at the PGA yeah, you merchandise show. Yeah, no big deal. I, I wouldn't name drop if yeah, it wasn't course, true. Of course. He told me a few different things. Tell One, me. this is just a sidetrack. One, Tiger Woods is three wins away from breaking the all-time PGA Tour wins record, and we don't talk about that enough. We, we don't yeah, talk about it enough. Yeah, that he's going to really, pass. Yeah, yeah, we got to talk so, about that more. He's saying the sports hangover should talk about that more, too. Oh, us, us, not him. He said... Not CBS. Phil Mickelson Mm -hmm. is going to win the U.S. Open at Pebble Beach this June. He's going to be 50 years old, and he's never won the U.S. Open. He has eight runner-ups, and he's never won it. Bold prediction from Jim Nance. I just wanted to share that with the world. He uh, told me about that. (laughs) So do you... uh, He's not going to say go. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Uh, I, you said Nance or Romo. I think Romo could definitely say go. I feel like that's a word that he would use because he's very trendy and on point. Okay. Um, what about... Uh, Got to share this, by the way, on Romo. I just, I just want to share tell this. Me. Yeah. We love Romo. Love. People, most people our age love Romo, but we must respect the uh, possibly just a little bit older than us podcast listeners mm. who don't love Romo. My dad, for example, Whoa. big time listener, not- sends me quotes from the show. He's not into Romo. Like squealing, raspy voice, too excited. Oh. He likes some more polished uh, Troy Aikman. Just wanna, just wanna give the other side there. Okay, I, that that's interesting. I mean, I'm I'm not a big fan of Troy Aikman. He's a he's a little. I, I think he's really good. He's, he's good. just the opposite of Romo. Yes. He's he's like a a fake face. He's like a plastic face. Yeah. And Romo he definitely is had some squealing. Work. Definitely had some work. Oh yeah. Uh, work. Will Jim Nance or Tony Romo say Hot Atlanta? No, it's going to be cold. Did you know tomorrow in Atlanta it's going to snow? Do you remember last time it snowed there? No. They, people slept in their cars. They they couldn't drive on the highway. Oh, I'm flying God. into Atlanta on Wednesday morning. If this shit isn't cleaned up by Wednesday, I'm going to join the people tweeting about it because Jeremy Atlanta's uh, going to shut down for snow. You're obviously on going to Atlanta for some exclusive interviews, right, for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you running into? Yeah. You- I'm definitely not just connecting at the airport. No. For no, an no, hour. no. 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 I'm sure you'll see some no. people there, though. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, halftime props. What song will be performed by Maroon 5? This one was the first song performed by Maroon 5. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm so I didn't do my research yet, but I, I did go through some of the hits. You remember that Sugar song? Like a few. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I like and then it. there's one more night makes me wonder moves like Jagger. Uh, moves like Jagger. That's what I bet on. Yeah, I mean that's plus six hundred. It's pretty good for the first song. It's we we really got to get ears on the ground here and see what's going on. You know, rehearsal will occur. We just have to find out who's at rehearsal. I know. So these these are something we got to look up during the week. I, so Travis Scott is joining. Yes, Travis Scott, and I think who Big is Boy? Travis Scott? Travis who is Scott that? Uh, has that new song on the radio right now with Drake, Sicko Mode. I like Sicko Mode. Great what, song. What's it when the beat drops? What's that? What What are the words? I have no idea. Are you going to look the, this the up? The kids go crazy, yeah. The, the kids, kids go crazy? Go, or is I it? mean, no, that's not what <laughs> I'm just saying. Kids, the kids, these really, they go crazy the over it. It's great. Um, all right. Let me, let me find it. Keep going. This one, I, this one I'm definitely betting on. How many songs will be played during the halftime show? How many songs do you think, without me saying the over-under, how many songs do you think will be played, Jeremy? How many songs will be played? During the um, halftime show. They have, what, they've got four? 20 minutes? Four. four you say over-under is at four? Yeah. All right. Over under is at seven and a half. Oh, that's they play that many songs. Do they just rip through them? Well, I mean, I, I think a lot of times when you watch the Super Bowl, you might be slightly intoxicated. Um, slightly by halftime. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know they did that many. I think they they must do many songs to get through because if a song is is three or four minutes, that's over a twenty minute show. I think the show is like fifteen. minutes. Yeah, but they right? always do like one song and do the, like the 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 hook and then they move on. Is it Don't Stop, Pop That Pussy? Is that the line people don't go crazy stop, about? Don't Stop, Pop That Pussy. Yeah, that, that's a good Well, that's by uh, yeah, that Uncle Luke. Uh, oh, great show. Can I, can I say, uh, in book. high school, uh, me and our, uh, our lawyer friend, we went in high school and we saw Uncle Luke bring up a whole bunch of big women on stage and they were popping it. Oh, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. Uh, okay, so fun props. No, 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 no. Go ahead. I, I just found the real one when they go crazy. What's it? Like a light. Like a light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a That's light. It. That's it. Sup through the fight. All right, so hey! fun props. The length of the national anthem. So Gladys Knight is singing, okay? She's an Atlanta icon. R&B. Let me tell you I this. I respect that. She's old as shit. She's 74 years old. There's no goddamn way she's singing for almost over two minutes, okay? So I'm going way under here. The odds are exactly the same on over under. Way too old to belt out that long. It's 108 seconds, which is like a minute and 40-something, like 47 seconds or something like that, 48. 48, yeah. Yeah. Not. I, I'll, I'll uh, take the over. This is her moment. She doesn't have many more moments on the stage. This will be the last big moment of her life. If she can handle and it, I don't. How can she sing at this age? These R and B folks, they go down deep in the chest. They don't just <laughs> speak out of the mouth. They, they bring it down Whoa. and out. Okay, all right. They, they push it out. Okay. Um, w- I know R and B. This is a, this is a fun <laughs> one too. Will any drive take less time? Then the national anthem, the score a touchdown. Any drive take less than, and that'd be game clock, 148, or right. roughly 148, right? Uh, yeah. Do, will these teams have a turnover, create a short field? Will it be wait, wait, I wait, hold on, hold on. I think it's actually, hold on a second, I'm looking at the sports book. I think it's, will any drive take less time than the national anthem? Any drive altogether, not even... I, I don't see a turnover creating a short field. I don't know if like Brandon Cooks catches a bomb. May, maybe yes on like a Cooks big play, would you say? So you think they get up, it's first down, they bomb it to Cooks, it's over in 45 seconds. I mean, no is at plus 105. And I yes, mean, that's tough. It's a tough one. But it's, I think this is a fun one to bet because then you can yeah. always kind of monitor it during the game. It's always available. Always available. Uh, Jeremy... That's all I got. I mean, there's a ton more. This is fun. So, so you're putting these bets in ahead of the game. Yeah. Are we going to bet props at the yes. at the venue so or just swear? I, every year, you've all, you have not attended a Super Bowl party in, never, never. in a long time here. But I print out prop sheets. Everybody bets. Everybody puts five dollars in, and winner takes all. Or sometimes, if we have enough, it's first, second, third. Uh, we it. also do commercial props where you bet during oh, the yeah. commercials and uh, squares. It's a lot of gambling. I, I might need an advanced copy. You know, I'm landing two hours before kickoff. Mm. Um, there could be traffic. There could be air traffic issues. So what? So yeah, we'll, we'll have to talk logistics. Uh, we'll talk logistics yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll yeah. definitely talk logistics. Uh, but I am excited. Check out Amazon.com. Search the sports hangover and search. Let's do J-Dog Takes On. Oh, yeah, J-Dog Takes On? 
All right, hold on. Let me let me pull up the put the soundboard away. I was Don't kinda put shook. it away. You unplugged it. Wow, you covered it up. <laughs> All right, J Dog takes on this week. Who are you taking on? I'm taking on the Pro Bowl. I had an issue with the Pro Bowl. Several issues. I think a lot of people. Did. First of all, I wanted free tickets because it was here in Orlando, and. I did not obtain them was the first issue. And now, the second why issue. Why didn't you obtain them? I feel like you may or may not have connections to like people that, you know, work in TV and it seems kind of shitty that no I one could have hooked connections, you up. But tickets were in demand. I have to tell you, day of the game, tickets get in price was $70. Where was this? To get in. Where did this take place? It was in Orlando. No, I know. Um, what stadium? Camping World Stadium. Okay. Downtown Orlando. Okay. Just a stone's throw from my uh, high rise apartment. Ah, uh, yes. Um, so I wanted to go. I didn't get free tickets. And then the, the get-in price was too much. Like, who are all these NFL fans? Because Orlando doesn't have them. That's for no. sure. Because all of our teams suck. We're Bucks and Dolphins and Jags fans. Like, yeah. Who are these people? And then it was a monsoon. It rained all day long. And because of this, or maybe not because of this, and maybe they're just all cowards, there was no tackling in the Pro Bowl. I watched the first drive. Receivers were falling down on purpose before they met a defender. Defenders would run up to them and, and touch them, and they would fall. Oh, there was no man. tackling. It wasn't a football game. It was raining. I did not go for free. The whole thing was a mess, and I'm taking on the whole system. We need to change it because no one cares, and I don't even want to care that it got a big rating because it was so cold well, in the not, country. People had nothing it got to a big rating because anyway. there's literally nothing else on. On Sunday. And, and it's freezing. People are inside. I get it. They're, they're very cold. And, and Orlando was cold. It was 55 degrees and raining in Orlando. You didn't want to go outside. I went to brunch, and I came home to nap because I couldn't be outside anymore. Yeah, it's, 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 I, I don't know what they need to do to make like all these like Pro Bowl and Superstar games. Give away free tickets to podcast hosts. That's all I ask. That's all you want. You just want us in. Next year, Jeremy. We would, be hyped. We would have led the show with it. Hyped. Mike, how cool is Pat Mahomes in the Pro Bowl? That's true. We definitely would have hyped it up. People, more oh, people would have watched. How about that? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Official Super Bowl picks. I'm, I'm going to go Patriots 40, oh. Rams 32. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go Patriots 30. Can, how do I land? I think 30. I feel like 31 is a good number. 31. Patriots, 31. Did you already do your squares? What are you doing? I'm, I'm just picking 31. It's, I'm feeling it out right now. Patriots, okay. 31. Rams, 23. I like it. Rams by eight. You win your props. That's right. Seven to ten. Uh, go and um, support we're the Rams. Rams sweaters and yeah. <laughs> we're not going to we're not going to pick them, but we're going to no, be. We them. are going to be cheering for every Brady touchdown. Only no, gonna we're be not one. doing that because we want to riot in the streets of L.A. If you are in L.A., we will DM us, TSH Podcast on Twitter, the Sports Hangover on Instagram. Mm-hmm. We'll invite you to Mike's party. He's going to have plenty of food. Just bring a dish. Oh, I didn't um, tell you like yet. We talked about, Did I tell you? Like we, Jeremy, would, what? You're, you're coming to a big boys party. There's going to be a bartender here. A bartender? There will be a bartender at the party, Jeremy. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, get ready. That's amazing. That's, That's a nice party. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I, I guess I have to supply everything, but there's going to be a bargain. That's not cool. You should charge admission, then. charge a cover. Well, I want everybody to bring booze, and then I'll just be behind and he can mix stuff up. So we'll see how it goes. I'm afraid I'm coming from the airport. I'll try to bring an Arizona delicacy. Does, I don't know if that exists, but I'll be coming from Arizona. What about, like, so do they have tequila out there? Why don't you bring like yeah. a bottle of tequila or something? Buy, buy it in the airport. Sure. Buy it at, yeah, I'll buy it in the airport. Yeah, Perfect. just buy something. I mean, that's Arizona delicacy tequila. <laughs> it's next to Mexico. It's I mean, close. Yeah, I thought, whatever. It's close enough. <laughs> I don't know. Whiskey. I don't think they have whiskey out there. All right. Check out the. All right. So this is Super Bowl time. Yes. Um, for real, enjoy the game. Get your gear. You can still get on Amazon Prime probably till like Wednesday, right? It's yeah, it's well, you, you need Friday. one day to print. So yeah, Wednesday's probably the last day. You could probably get it Thursday, but you. You might have to pay a little extra to get it there. So, yeah. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy the game. I'll see you on Sunday. I'll see you Sunday. If we don't get Razzle Muzz reviews, hopefully we're back next week. And that might happen if we riot. <laughs> <laughs>